Welcome to another math problem of the week. Real numbers with sum at least zero, minimum value. Let's talk about it. For today's question, we are going to discuss this 2022 Cypress JBMO team selection test. Given that x, y are real numbers such that the sum is at least zero, we are asked to find the minimum value for this expression. The key step of solving this question is looking at the first four terms here. And the option for the answer are A, 1, B2, C3, and D4. What do you think? Pause the video now if you wish to solve it. Keep watching the video once ready. So as suggested, we look at these first four terms. So this is x5 plus y5 minus x4y minus xy4. Now, there is x4 and x4 here. So it is x4, x minus y. And for this, there's y4 and y4. And we can take out a negative y4, then this is x minus y. Um, if you're not convinced about this, you can actually um, expand it and you'll see that we'll get back the previous expression. So now x minus y is a common term. We can write x minus y, x4 minus y4. Now some claim that if x is greater than y, then this is positive, and x4 minus y4 also positive. If x is less than y, x4 also less than y4. So in any case, this is positive. Now this may not be true because the previous argument only true if both x, y are positive. But now some of them can be negative, so it may not be valid. However, we can further factorize it. So this is x minus y. For x4 minus y4, it can be written as x squared minus y squared and x squared plus y squared. Because x4 is square of x squared and y4 is square of y squared. And with this, x squared minus y squared can further factorize as x plus y, x minus y. So it is x minus y, x plus y. x minus y combined with this, it becomes a square, x plus y. Now it is clear that the square of real numbers is greater than or equal to zero. And for the condition, x plus y is always greater than or equal to zero. The sum of square also greater than or equal to zero. So overall, this is greater than or equal to zero. And note that it can be equal to zero is either x equals to y or x equals to negative y or both equals to zero. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Now we let this expression to be j. So what we know right now is the first four term at least zero. So j must be at least x squared plus 4x plus 7. Uh -huh. This is just a quadratic expression. By completing the square, we can have x plus 2 squared plus 3. And again, this is a square of a real numbers. It is at least 0. So this is greater than or equal to 3. So what we have here is j is at least equal to 3. The equality holds if and only if from here, x equals to negative 2. And from here is either, as you mentioned, x equals to y, or x equals to negative y, or both equals to zero. It is not possible here. Then we can choose y to be equal to a negative x, so that it fulfills the sum is at least zero. So it means that x y equals to negative two, two. So with this, three is achievable 
and therefore the mean value of j is equal to 3 and this happened at x y equals to negative 2 2 and for now let's look at other people's solution That's all for today's lesson. I'll see you again next Tuesday. Bye-bye.